Winter is done and spring is here. It's the first week of April. I'm Annie Hood. Hello and welcome to Well Intel Daily. This is the podcast that explores big picture themes and what they mean through a well-being lens. I like to think of my year in quarters, so I've been taking some time to reflect on the first three months of 2023. How's it been for you? Did you get everything done that you wanted to get done? Did you carve out time for you? And how about those New Year intentions? Are they still on your list? You know, for all the tools I have in my box, I still fall off the wagon, usually because I imagine I'll get more done than is humanly possible. And what I've learned to do is instead of castigating myself with a long list of things I haven't got to, I say to myself, God, you did it again, girl. And I forgive the enthusiastic ambition. I know it will be done, just not in the impossible time frame I imagined. Patience really is a virtue. It's not my best quality. Maybe it's yours. Does any of that resonate for you? My own reflections have led me to put more energy and attention into the cultivation of joy and flourishing. And this serves, I hope, to remind us both of the simple but profound habits that give our human energy battery the boost it needs. Plato and Aristotle conceived flourishing as the realisation of one's physical, intellectual, emotional and imaginative potential. And I'm talking about the experiences and activities that bring delight, not only in our personal lives, but in our work lives too. That might be traveling or dancing or delicious food or learning, being inspired towards a different perspective or reading an incredible book. Or what about a wonderful glass of wine, alcoholic or otherwise? There is enormous value to us and to our well-being of feeding our own delight. Imagine if everyone embraced joy as much as we did anxiety. It's a fascinating discussion point when you unpick it and it's as relevant to home life as it is for work life. I was going to say office life but of course you know we have such a hybrid way of being now. For tomorrow, what anchors wellness practice into the everyday? I'm joined by the always fabulous Stella Foti, founder of Wellbeing Escapes. Do share this with friends, follow and of course, be well.